Hi, I'm Matt Gillard. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of Capital Corner, the news and views of early childhood here in Lansing. Um, the legislature's been on break for the last two weeks for the spring break, but there has been some activity. Uh, some of the subcommittees for the appropriations process have continued to meet. Last week in particular, there was a Department of Human Services subcommittee hearing in the Senate. Uh, I testified uh, as well as Karen Roback on behalf of the Early Childhood Investment Corporation, and Lisa Brewer Rallraven and Deputy Director Brian Rooney from the Department of Human Services testified on the overall child development and care program. I thought the testimony was very well received by the committee, but we have not yet seen where the proposal will come out on the funding for any of these items or any early childhood issues. Senator Caswell did indicate that he'd like to put out a, a budget proposal from the subcommittee sometime within the next two weeks, and that fits the time frame we're hearing from the other Senate committees as well. Uh, Senator Walker continues to work on a school aid budget plan. Uh, he did introduce a draft budget proposal a couple of weeks ago but he has had many meetings uh, individually with early childhood supporters and Great Start Collaborative members from his district uh, since that time and we're hopeful that some of his views about the Great Start Collaboratives are, are growing and evolving as he learns more about the important work that the Great Start Collaboratives are doing in his communities and really throughout the state. Uh, on the overall budget picture um, things are really continue to be quite murky. Uh, the Senate has kind of backed away from their plan of presenting their own individual budget plan uh, in this process and now are looking to come to some sort of agreement with the House and the Governor on the overall, on the big picture items. Uh, the hang up is certainly still on the revenue side or on the pension tax, business tax shift that was the critical or the integral piece of the Governor's proposal. Uh, if you remember the Governor's proposal relies upon about nine hundred million dollars in a pension tax uh, in order to make it work. The Senate does not seem likely to go along with with that anywhere near that number at least. And so how those differences are worked out obviously will have a huge impact on the rest of the budget. And I don't expect a whole lot of legislative activity on the budget until we get some sort of agreement on some of those big measures. Uh, even on the Senate side, I think we'll see some of the subcommittees start to move some budgets, but they're not likely to move much beyond that until there's an agreement on the big picture numbers and they know how much money they're actually dealing with. On the House side, I don't think we'll see very much movement at all as they will be even more reluctant to vote on budgets that aren't going to be met by real numbers. Um, so we'll continue to monitor this. We continue to get very strong indications from uh, the administration, uh, the governor himself, but also all levels of the administration on their support for early childhood in general and their support particularly for the Early Childhood Investment Corporation and the Great Start Collaboratives. They have continually noted um, how critical this piece the piece that the Early Childhood Investment Corporation and the collaboratives provide to this work is in their picture of building a comprehensive Great Start Early Childhood system moving forward. Uh, and so that's a very positive sign. I think at this point it's safe to say we're getting mixed signals out of the legislature as to what direction they are heading on early childhood funding, but we'll continue to uh, monitor that closely and to offer in our input uh, as often and as much as possible um, to make sure that the decisions that the legislature makes are in the best interest of young children and the families of young children as we move through this difficult budget process. Please tune in again next week where we'll have even more updates as this ball seems to be just starting to, to kind of roll downhill. So we're expecting things to start moving uh, and we'd certainly love you to tune in and keep apprised of what's happening here in Lansing on Early Childhood. Thanks.